in this session we will print all the prime numbers in the given range using command line arguments what is a prime number a number that is divisible by 1 and itself a number that is divisible by 1 and itself is called prime number now we will implement the logic of that prime number we already discussed the concept that is check whether a given number is a prime number or not now we have to print in the range only save the program in the path for example p dot c here write the program hash include stdio dot h main of here we have to pass our information through command line arguments that is passed through the main it contains two parameters one is argc argument count that is how many number of arguments we are passing next to one is the respected values char star arg of it stores the values what we are passing in the range our concept is to print the prime numbers within the range so i am reading two variables start comma end reading two variables start comma end that is from start to end i have to find this operation is performed recursively so for i is equal to start i less than or equal to end i plus plus now in the loop First, we are considering i value. Check whether i has any factor or not. If i has a factor, i is not a prime number. Then move to i plus plus. For example, we are starting from 10. 10 to 100. i is equal to 10. Check whether 10 has any factor or not. If 10 has a factor, so doesn't print 10. And 11. 11 has no factors. That means we pick one number find the factors of that number if the number has a factor ignore that number so we are repeatedly identify the factors for that purpose i am using the loop according to prime number every number is divided by one and itself so i am starting from two and j less than or equal to j less than or equal to consider any number after half there is no factor for example 12 half of 12 is 6 there is no factor after 6 14 after 7 there is no factor so i am checking up to half of that particular number and j plus plus now check the condition if i mod j j i is our number j is used to check the factors if i mod j is equal to 0 what is the meaning of this condition if i mod j is equal to 0 means j is a factor whenever the factor occurs simply comes out of the loop simply comes out of the loop for example consider number 10 if 2 is a factor for 10 then no need to divide with 3 4 5 so whenever a factor occurs comes out of the loop now we are at out of the loop remember the case when we are at out of this for loop after this loop we are entering into this statement that is at this position because of two statements by the completion of this for by the completion of this for statement or by the execution of break statement what is the difference by the execution of break statement means we are entering into the loop we are entering into the loop only when it is a prime number or by the completion of for loop we are comes out of the loop if we are comes out of the loops through the end of the for loop means it is not a prime number that is our aim is we have to identify how we comes out of the loop that is either execution of break statement or completion of for statement for that purpose i am using a variable flag with the initial value of zero in the if statement i am updating flag value is equal to one suppose after the loop 
if a flag value is equal to zero means we are not enter into the for loop for example number 7 j is equal to 2 j is equal to 3 no factors so flag value zero means we are not enter into the loop whenever we are not enter means that there is no factor so that is a prime number print f percentage d comma what is our number our number is i this is the close of for and close of i and declare all the variables what we are using i comma j in the variable flag this is the logic save the program and build it so it does not have any errors so observe the logic from start to end and in this case in this i am declaring start and end value but what are the values start is equal to arg v of 1 end is equal to arg v of 2 that is the first index is placed in the start and last index is placed in the end but this arg v is of type characters we how to convert it in integers so to convert the characters into integers a predefined function is a to i is a predefined function similarly this one also a to i of this one now save and run the program open the command prompt this is the path observe this is the path in this path p dot exe that is here p dot exe is stored in arg v of 0 and start for example 2 to 100 2, 2 is the start 100 is the end so observe these are the prime numbers in the given range this is the logic of prime number thank you